Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Hey, it's uh, love to be loved, and it's always love to be loved. You know, I wanted to talk to you guys, and I know there's people out there that are depressed, have anxiety, think that they're not handsome, think they're not pretty, think that they doesn't have what it takes to chase after their dreams and to do the things that they love and possibly even make some money at it. Um, don't let anything about you stop you from doing what you want to do okay you know you know because I mean take a look at me I'm 46 years old uh, I'm losing my hair I can't decide if I want to wear a beard or not though that's pretty much been decided since my girlfriend likes me clean shaved sorry babe you know, uh, I just don't like shaving but I to be honest with you I prefer uh, clean shape myself um, if I had a way to get rid of this beard so it wouldn't come back that would be fantastic anyways yes but yeah take a take a look at me I, um, I'm renting a room uh, and I'm here trying to do the best that I can. And I'm not going to let, you know, I, I, I've written eight songs. I introduced them to YouTube and, and Facebook and Google+. Plus. Uh, I'm trying to at least get the songs together to, to present to other artists so that they'll buy them. I actually have people that I can, that I'm trying to work with and trying to get together with, so that so you know, so that dream will come true. Whether I sing it or someone else sings it, and then we sell it and get the money for you know whatever money we can get from uh, someone using our songs, you know. And I never thought that would be possible. I never thought, you know, I never thought about um, any of that being possible. But I'm not going to let that, though, those insecurities or whatever, keep me from attaining my dreams. You know, and I'm not, I'm not going to let nothing stand in my way. And plus, I'm going to be going, finally, going to school in, um, in January, starting January 2nd. Um, so, but I want to talk to you about your dreams. And see, the thing is, we've been conditioned, especially here in America and in other cultures, that you have to have a, co you have to have a college degree in order to, to be successful and that you need a college degree in order to accomplish what you want to accomplish and to be someone important and, be, and to be someone that matters and that's not necessarily true now you, can get, you cannot get around the fact that there are careers out there that require you to have uh, a college degree and there's good reason for that because behind that document is a lot of knowledge and a lot of understanding of the field that you are in and that you're applying for and want to be a part of. Um, and hopefully it's something that you want to do and not because it has a uh, that other people in your family's done it or 
um, you're doing it to impress the girl or whatever, or you're doing it to make a bunch of money. I mean, if those are your reasons, those are your reasons. I'm just saying be a lot better if the reason why you're going to school and getting a degree is because that's something you have a heart for. It's something that you, it's, that you dreamed about doing and something that you have a passion for doing because that would make it, you'd be so much happier if that's the reason. And, but back to not needing a degree, there's, there's a, certainly a lot of things out there that you could do that you may think you need a degree to do it, but you really don't, especially with how much information is out there that teaches you the proper way of doing things. Now, granted, there's a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of things out there that will teach you incorrect procedures or give you the wrong uh, information and where they're getting their sources from. But regardless of that, you can learn to do just about anything for free, just about anything. There's really no excuse for you not to be able to learn how to do anything that you want to do. Uh, now, that being said, you've got to remember, the things that you go after that do not require a degree for you to 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 do and after you learn and continue to learn how to do whatever it is you want to do you have to be you have to consider the fact that maybe it's not really something you can make money at not that you can't make money at it but you've got to understand something we ha we're all, we all have limitations and sometimes some limitations will keep us from making that passion, the thing that we're passionate about. Sometimes those limitations will keep us from making it into a career. Now, it might not keep us from making a little side money here and there, but maybe that's just something that you share with just yourself or share between friends or sh or something that helps other people but you know it's very limited of of how much it can bring in revenue so those that's something that you want to categorize as a hobby or as an interest or whatever, however you want to categorize it, but it, and you can even say it's a career, but in reality, it's not. So we, we, you have to face that reality of some things that you are passionate about will not make you money for whatever reason. And it has nothing to do with you, and it even has nothing to do with society. It just has to do with there's something there that's needed and you don't have it. And there's some things that just can't be trained. There's just some things, no matter how much training you take, you get, no matter how much knowledge you, you get, there's just some things you don't have a natural ability at, at doing. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't keep trying to make money at it, but it, I would seriously consider if you discover that, that that's not something that you can make money at and you need and you're trying to find a way to do something that you love to do and and get paid to do it if that's your goal then I would try to reevaluate yourself and see what what is it out there what else do I like to do and refocus refocus your energy and your time and make that your passion and then that can bring in money 
and you might have to combine uh, jobs you don't like with the things you like until you find something that you have you have will have complete control of as far as the harder you work at it the more money you'll make and the better you'll get at it and the more and the more effective you are will and the more you'll be able to help other people in whatever way you're going to help them whatever services or whatever entertainment or whatever whatever it is uh, that you find passion in that there's three things you, you definitely need education, whether it's a degree or just learning how to do what you want to do and, and learning how to do it better. So you got need the education. Two, you need to distinguish is it a career or a hobby? And I'm not talking about I'm not talking about what others would what others could are consi considered hobbies there's all, I've seen all kinds of TV shows all kinds of YouTube channels that things that at one time was just considered a hobby they turned into a money making business so don't let what what society and what other people say, oh, you can't do that as a job. Well, that's been proven wrong. So you need to determine what's a job for you and what you want to just be something that you enjoy doing that relieves stress, makes you happy, gives your um, either activates your brain or relaxes you or both you know so yeah there there you go don't let your looks and don't wait for the special moment do it now go for it know what your limitations are but don't let your limitations keep you from doing what you love Just have the dis discipline to know one is for career, one or two or three are for career, and one or two or three are for your personal enjoyment and for your and for it to be a hobby or, or something that you just share with yourself or enjoy with uh, close friends and family. All right, that's what I wanted to share. Uh, it's loved to be loved, and it's always loved to be loved. Be blessed, and goodbye.